Hello, here's a rough and ready tutorial in which I'm going to try to explain how to play guitar in the style of Woody Guthrie. Woody used to play a steel strung acoustic six string guitar like mine here and usually he'd use a pick or plectrum to pick the strings and like most folk singers, country singers, hillbilly singers of his day, he'd write songs based around the main three chords in any given key, uh, what are sometimes called the one, four and five chords. Or he'd write songs based around what's sometimes jokingly called a three chord trick. In the key of C, as you perhaps know, the main three chords are C, F and G, or G7. Woody was very fond of playing songs uh, using chords in the key of C although sometimes he would play in the keys of D, G and E. Uh, having said that he liked to play in the key of C, more often than not, he'd use a capo, or capo, as my American cousins call them, to change the key. So, if we put that on the third fret, we find that our C chord becomes an E flat chord, so we'd be playing in the key of E flat. But for the sake of simplicity, let's talk about playing in the key of C. We'll call that a C chord. Woody used to play a simple three-finger version of the C chord rather than a four-finger version like that. So he put his first finger on the first fret of the second string, his second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and his third finger on the third fret of the fifth string. Since you're not fretting the sixth string, you might want to avoid playing that, or bring your thumb over to dampen it like that. Similarly, Woody used to play a simple three finger version of an F chord rather than this four finger version or a bar chord version. So he played an F like this. He'd use his first finger on the first fret of the first and the second strings. His second finger on the second fret of the third string and his third finger on the third fret of the fourth string. And like before, you would want to avoid playing the notes on the fifth and the sixth strings. Would he play the standard three finger G7 chord like that? So that's first finger, first fret, first string, second finger, second fret, fifth string and 3rd finger, 3rd fret, 6th string. Now, when we're talking about Woody Guthrie's guitar technique, we're really talking about two main things. We're talking about the technique that he used to accompany himself whilst he was singing, and we're talking about the technique that he used, a related technique, to play little melodic breaks uh, or introductions to his songs. So he would accompany his singing like this. This land is your land, this land is my land From California to the New York Island From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me But he would also play little instrumental parts like this. Both of those techniques are based on the guitar technique of Mabel Carter, who was the main guitarist in the original Carter family who started recording back in the late uh, 1920s. Uh, Woody, I think, was also quite keen on the guitar of Jimmy Rogers as well, who started recording around the same time. Both Jimmy Rogers and Mabel Carter used to play a bass drum technique. So they would do this in its simplest form. You play a bass note, which is the root note of the chord. So if we call that a C, then we play that note, which is the C bass note. And then you play a strum. 
So in its simplest form, it's like that. What Jimmy Rogers used to do to make it a little more interesting is he would alternate the bass notes. So he would take his third finger off the fifth string and put it on the third fret of the sixth string. Like that. Woody Guthrie didn't do that. Uh, what Woody would do is he would play the bass note, the root note, like that. Then he would play a quick down up strum, down up, and then he would play an alternate bass note on the fourth string, sometimes the third string. So it would be bass note, down up, alternate bass note, down up. So. Sounds a bit more interesting when played faster. It doesn't matter if you also play the note on the third string like this. What Woody would also do is he would play a hammer on when playing that alternate bass note. So if you haven't played a hammer on before, it sounds like this. So what I'm doing is, I'm picking the fourth string, open note, and then I'm tapping my second finger down onto the second fret to make the note from the chord. So I'm only picking the string once with my right hand, but I get two notes. And you'd insert that to a little hammer-on bass note, like this. fast, it sounds a bit more interesting, like this. Okay, how did Woody play this strum with the F chord? Now Jimmy Rogers did a similar thing to what he does with a C chord, is he would lift his third finger off, and play an alternating bass like that. So bass note, strum, alternating bass. And that's a lovely technique, but uh, Woody didn't do that either. He would play uh, the root note there, which is an F, we'll call it an F anyway, it's actually an A flat. <laughs> Called an F. So bass note strong, down up, like before. And he would either play that note again, like that, or he would uh, play the note on the third string, like this. Woody Guthrie's guitar playing was actually quite scrappy at times. It doesn't really matter if you accidentally play a wrong note, if it's still part of the chord, so you can go... It still works. It's still rhythmic and uh, in tune. Woody sometimes would play a hammer-on as well with this F chord. This means that you have to lay your first finger across three strings and then you're hammering on with your second finger to make the note of the chord like we did with the C. So so that's the C and the F, so what did he do with the G7? Um, well. Very similarly, he would play 
the bass note, which is a G there. Double strum, down up. And you would alternate the bass note between the sixth string and the fourth string. Sometimes between the sixth and the fifth string. So here we go. Sometimes that's the fifth string. And sometimes, as with the C chord, he would play a hammer on. So he'd play the open fifth string once, then tap his second finger down to make the note of the chord like that. So that's the basic technique for accompanying your singing. What you also might like to do is add a little run when you change from the C chord up to the F chord, like this. So. And what I was doing there was simply this, I'm playing that root note from the C chord, I'm playing the 4th string open, I'm playing the 4th string on the 2nd fret, using my 2nd finger, and then I'm putting my 3rd finger down on the 3rd fret, ready to make the 3 finger F chord. So. Like that. So, putting that all together, it can sound like this. Thank you. 